We were just awarded a five-year um, proposal for, from uh, Office of Science to look at um, how plutonium can move in the subsurface. What are the geochemical controls on how plutonium may or may not move um, in, in groundwater, down gradient from where it was originally deposited. And we're concerned about plutonium because it has been deposited in the subsurface and we want to make sure that it's not moving down gradient to where someone might be using that groundwater in the future. And where we have an opportunity now to really take advantage of Livermore's capabilities to look at um, the sub um, nanometer scale and um, very, very low concentrations of plutonium that we see in the natural environment and how we can um, understand those processes to build a model that can be used in a more predictive way. Because currently, we don't really have a good understanding of how plutonium may or may not move. And it prevents us from really doing a model, a predictive model, or it can assess the risk uh, uh, down gradient from um, where it was originally deposited. And the reason we want to understand where plutonium is, because a lot of DOE sites have plutonium deposited in the subsurface as a result of weapons manufacturing or actual nuclear testing. And it's not only important for the DOE facilities that have plutonium deposited in the subsurface, but also for future repositories of where, you want to, where we want to store high-level waste or even internationally where other countries are storing waste. Uh, we want to be able to understand how we can prevent that from moving down gradient. So we can really, for the first time, I think, we have an opportunity to look at the concentrations that really exist, the low concentrations that really exist in the subsurface and not have to do experiments at very high concentrations and extrapolate down. And so for the first time, we can take advantage, really, of capabilities that Livermore has, like the NanoSims and the SuperSTEM and the CAMS facilities to really go at levels, uh, concentrations that we haven't been able to detect before.